freedom of speech in a modern day democracy. I detest what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. Voltaire. Australia does not have explicit freedom of speech in any constitutional or statutory declaration of rights. So we're not off to a great start. Is Australia democratic? Well, democracy is a form of government in which all eligible citizens have an equal say in the decisions that affect their lives. Democracy allows eligible citizens to participate equally in the creation of laws, for example. Democracy by definition means government by the people. That means that all the people should be able to have their say in one way or another in everything that affects their lives. Australia is a representative democracy. Clive Palmer is a billionaire. So whom does he represent? Aristotle once said, in a democracy, the poor will have more power than the rich because there are more of them and the will of the majority is supreme. The rich are the few, yet they have all the power. Still believe we have a democracy? Jacques Fresco summed it up beautifully. Democracy is a con game. It's a word invented to placate people to make them accept a given institution. All institutions sing, we are free. The minute you hear freedom and democracy, watch out. Because in a truly free nation, no one has to tell you you're free. Freedom of thought and freedom of speech are mutually inclusive terms. However, let's look at the etymology of the word government. Now this comes from the Latin gubernare, which means to control, and the Latin noun mens, which means mind. Govern, to control, or to rule over, meant the mind. Government equals mind control. Now in Australia, we have over 24 million different laws. <laughs> more laws mean more criminality. Let's look at this. This is the Vicious Lawless Association Disestablishment Bill of 2013, or VLAD. This is Queensland's new bike laws. They do away with the premise of innocent to proven guilty. Just as Al-Qaeda was used to bring in the Patriot Act in the United States, we have the supposed threat of bikies. Now these VLAD laws attract mandatory sentences of up to 25 years. These laws also reverse the burden of proof. They force those that accused of being vicious and lawless associates to prove that they are not. This severely undermines the right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Now in this Vlad Act, association can mean a corporation, a club or a league, or any group of three or more people. Any group of three or more people could be deemed violent and lawless if the police just say so. There is no burden of proof on their behalf. This lawless group then have to prove their innocence. This most certainly does not look like the definition of a democracy. In fact, this represents authoritarianism. Why? Because someone doesn't want people exercising their freedom of speech.